hey guys, Desolator Magic here. Very sad day for the magic community, which is now in complete and utter uproar over the fact that it was accidentally found through a log file in Arena that um, the matchmaking for Brawl is completely rigged. And you might want to watch this video till the end because I have a whole bunch of additional information, as usual. Shocking revelation that people are just finding out as of November 11th, 2018, when I made a video on it. Like, seriously, I was actually not going to cover this because I thought it was such a known thing. I was just going to play the clip from that video showing what the statement was from the devs in a now deleted statement, by the way. But then I realized, oh... Oh, this was two years before the Brawl controversy when they admitted that Standard Constructed was rigged. Sorry, I got a little confused. The free play best of one Q will now use a combination of deck strength? <gasps> what? And MMR to determine matchmaking. They are not talking about the Brawl Q. Brawl wasn't invented yet. Okay, so they've been doing it since 2018. About two years later, they were caught rigging the Brawl queue as well, and were forced to admit that in August 2020. So yeah, kind of been a public non-secret for four years, but I guess, I don't know, not everybody follows the game that close. I can't even find the video where they talked about the Brawl thing, I think it was a year or two later, but um, here's my two documentaries on it, uh, the second of which talked about it. Hmm, 61,000 views, which, I mean, as of lately is good for my channel. So some people heard about that. So Wizards is trying to cover up what the devs said because I think they just weren't supposed to say it. <laughs> and they posted it on their own forum, like, without their approval or something. It was hilarious. It disappeared real quick. I'll read the whole thing for you in a second, but uh, the story behind how this got out is, is now that's news. So it started with a, a certain user on Reddit, which if I had a dollar for every time a news story started with that, I'd be rich. Um, it's Liangzhu. I, I think it's like a play on words or something because that's not how you would spell it in Chinese. But um, sorry for massacring your username. But they built a really interesting brawl deck with one commander, 48 plus 48 lands, and then just uh, three spells. And they got an error when they tried to enter matchmaking that said, invalid deck, deck validation failed. Okay, so they're running like banned cards or whatever. I mean, obviously, it's pretty easy with four cards in the deck to find out if your deck is valid. So they're like, okay, what is causing this? So they went to the log file, which last I heard the log file was hidden because uh, people started finding out that your deck power and your win-loss rate was being tracked. I believe that's what the reason was. And then they got really mad and shortly after just removed the log file completely from the beta. I don't know why it's back. Maybe it's just being uploaded in real time or something and somebody's spying on the, the, the data or maybe they just literally brought it back and cleaned it out. I think it's back, but it only contains errors and really basic information. Don't know what happened there, but they did let something slip. So they found an entry called error type, colon, deck weight too low, comma, deck weight, colon, negative 333, comma, min deck weight, colon, zero. Deck strength? They've been tracking deck strength? Since when? So how did they end up with a minimum deck weight of negative 333? Well, the answer is um, some commanders are as high as 1,800 points, and some of them are negative, I think 360 is the lowest. The numbers don't really matter, but then the cards in your deck can bring it up a little bit. Uh, a lot of them are neutral, they're just zero. And then a lot of the like really power cards, like, like tutors and stuff, are, are plus 45. So if you run a negative 360, and then add another 27 points, you're at negative 333. And then your deck doesn't meet the threshold of at least uh, meeting zero. Now, the absolute consensus online, almost everybody thinks this, is that they just never thought it would go negative or just like forgot that it could. I disagree because somebody had to put that, that, that like exact text dump into the game logs as like a coded exact error. And that they use the variable name. Now, you could just dump the variable name, I guess. It is Unity. You could just say, this was the value, this is the other one, here's the threshold, dump the whole thing. So I, I'm actually kind of back on team they didn't mean to do this and that that one line wasn't exactly coded by scratch, which is like the way I would do it in like low-level programming languages. It's just some automated Unity thing where they're like, put a threshold, if it goes too low, we'll generate an error and here, here's your existing framework for that. Move on with your day. Much, much, much faster. So let's just assume it was an accident. Well, oops. Guess what this let people do? This is a little gray area with what's allowed to be said on YouTube, but I think they just did some combinations and then read the output. I don't know how they got the positive numbers. That's what I can't figure out. There doesn't appear to be negative numbers for anything that you put in the deck, just the commander, but the highest commanders are plus 1,800, which is like insane. There's quite a few of them. And if you look at the list, oh yeah, 
But then they found out, probably by just putting a negative commander, 98 lands, and then one card, generating the error, and then finding out the value of that one card by um, subtracting the difference. There's your number. So people painstakingly, maybe it was automated, maybe they ripped off a whole database. I don't know how they did it. That's just how I would do it as brute force the whole thing. But um, now we know basically every single card in all of Arena what its plus or minus is in the deck strength. So... It, it went from just like, here's the win rate of um, certain commanders, and we thought maybe there was like two or three tiers. Like, this is tier one, tier two, tier three, and then everything else is free for all or something. Uh, which I think is how it started, because I, I would run Kenrith and just get go against nothing but like Golos and Kenrith or whatever was hot back then. And that kind of pissed me off because I was running green, white enchantments, and I just threw in Kenrith because I thought it was funny. I wasn't even actually running five color. And I was getting penalized for it. And I was pissed. And then when they finally came out and admitted it, because people are like, when I change decks, I go up against completely different opponents. And it's not just perception. It's not all in my head. Stop gaslighting me and telling me I'm paranoid. Just need to get good, Reddit. I'm quoting other people, by the way. I would not bother to be on Reddit. Kind of funny that accusations of MTG being rigged are not allowed and are constantly deleted on the main subreddit. When people accuse them of... uh, having the best of one queue based on deck strength and then they came out and admitted it then they said we think that the opening hand system was a little too perfect because you don't get no landers or one landers or five landers like ever and then they came out and admitted yeah we we draw three invisibly in the background or two it was two at the time it's three now um and then give you the best of it based just on mana balance to prevent bad games and people are like oh that's actually kind of nice except that it was rigged this whole time you didn't tell us in best of one, I understand the math and the strategy. I love it, except then it, it resulted in the 13 land exploit, and people were using it in a tournament, so then they had to double down and never fix it. So to this day, I don't believe the uh, uh, 13 mountain exploit has ever been patched, because now they're just like, no, it's by design. We did it on purpose. If you want that and about 15 more stories, go watch my documentary. Link's in the description. Just saying. It gets so much worse. People use third-party trackers to track 10 million games, found out that, yes, the shuffler is absolutely rigged, and they responded by fixing it. Just kidding, they responded by banning third-party trackers. The developers came out and admitted that Brawl was rigged on the forum. They responded by deleting the entire forum. Do these boomers not understand how the internet works? I just went over to archive.org. Here, okay, I think we're overdue for this. I will read the entire statement verbatim. But I guess to complete the thought earlier, if you're just new to this whole news story... After people said, when I switch decks, I seriously get like 10 completely different opponents. Then I switch to a different deck and I get 10 completely different opponents. It's unranked. What what is going on? You clearly have some code here doing this. And they finally just were forced to admit it because everybody could see what was happening. Except on Reddit where it was not allowed to post things like that. Let me cite my now deleted source. MTG Arena State of the Game August 2020. Brawl. A few things we want to call out for the August update. First, we'll be making some adjustments to matchmaking, specifically how we weigh certain commanders. (laughs) Oh, back the train up. You weigh certain commanders? Uh, If you hover over the link for certain, it's Nicol Bolas Dragon God. And if you hover over the word commanders, it's Niv Mizzet Reborn. While those two are not an exhaustive list, our goal is to nudge players with more competitive decks towards each other and give a little more breathing room to those running a more laid-back deck list. Let me just interject, I completely and entirely agree with that if you would have told us it was happening. Same with the quote-unquote hand smoothing. I completely agree with it. If you would have put a limit on it, not allowing the 13 exploit, but anyway. If you would have told us that it was happening this whole time, while everybody on Reddit goes and lies to us and says, no, it's not happening, shut up, you're paranoid, banned. Man, have those apologist, clueless, I don't know how to track statistics idiots on the internet been proven wrong over and over and over and over and over, and it's still not allowed to say that the game is rigged. Even though it's been caught being rigged, it it has to be 10 times at this point. I I could pull up my notes for the documentaries, or you could just go watch them. Have you seen my other channel? I don't need the money. I just want people to know the knowledge, okay? So then they go on to say, we'll be watching how these changes affect the matches and matchmaking, and we will be tweaking things to make sure all players are getting the kind of matches that suit their deck's style. Whoa, shocking revelation, everybody. The matchmaking isn't random in Brawl. Well, mind-blowing. I've only known this for the last four years when they said it publicly on their own website. And then also admitted that all of Best of One Unranked is, is completely rigged as of 2018. This ain't news if you've been watching my channel. Maybe you should subscribe. 
yeah, pair all the tryhards up against each other because I'd say that's what they want. But we all know they just want free, easy wins because they're just selfish little man children who copy a deck off the internet and like, ooh, I got mommy's credit card. I bought all these cards with all my mythic wild cards and now I can just win the game. I can just get free wins. Most of them think that nobody should be able to play that deck with them and they literally just want free wins so that they can like live in a fantasy world where they're a really good magic player. But uh, maybe 10% of them are like, no, I just want to play high level against competitive people because like, that's what I want to do. Like, why would I want to go play baseball against a little league team, you know? Or like, I'm going to go play basketball, but I'm only mediocre. So I want to play against a women's team instead. <laughs> like, who would ever do that? Nobody would do that. Nobody would sink that low. That would never happen. Or like track and field or wrestling or boxing. Or, no. That's a bad example. I take it back. Nobody would ever do that. I ask again, for the love of God, people, how is this news... How is any of this news to you? I covered this when it came out. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep hearing the truth, because that's all I, I published at this point. That in the last live stream was completely off the chain hilarious. You guys are really good at guessing which celebrities are falling downstairs in clips that I play while I'm waiting for my opponents to lose to me in like a 7-0 draft. You can't get that content just anywhere. You know what else you can't get just anywhere into the AM sponsor of this video? What? That's right. If you're wondering how I'm always looking so good in the, the six videos where I actually show my face, it's into the AM. They are legitimately like one third of my wardrobe. Like they send me some cool like pre-release stuff, like some, some uh, you know, latest release, uh, new art, like some stuff that's popping off pretty good. But then besides that, I saw some I really wanted. I bought quite a few more. Uh, new products like those new dress pants. Oh my gosh, those are nice. And finally, ones that fit. God, I was trying to fit into the ones for like a funeral one time. And last time those fit was high school. Okay, and I'm 36. So like, we were stretching. I was about ready to get out the butter and, you know, get them pants on one way or another. But uh, then, you know, then I just ate the butter instead. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, actually, I lost 10 pounds lately. The hell's this video about? Oh yeah, Into the AM. The black is slimming. They got a style for everybody. Uh, everybody's like, oh, it's kind of just like sci-fi and nerdy stuff. No, no, that's just like what I show. Like they got all kinds of stuff. They got outdoorsy stuff. They got flannels. They got like work polos. And it's all really reasonably priced and really durable and really comfortable. This isn't some YouTuber merch crap. That's why I basically just shut down my merch store because theirs is better. I, I, I don't even have like a no compete. I just feel bad promoting my own products that are only like mid-tier quality when there's this top quality. And you turn that thing inside out in the wash, which please do that. Uh, it'll last like just about forever. This ain't no Chinese plasticine. Let's not even heat press it and just send it to you okay no they don't, they don't play like that the sizes are accurate unlike urban rescue ranch i love you but your merch sucks my god they look good they hold up and they let people around you know i'm that dude okay i'm into this i'm going to this event and i'm i'm here because i'm one of you you know i've gotten more comments on those shirts than anything else i've ever worn in my entire life i'm just out playing pokemon go people are like nice shirt I go play arcade games and pinball down at the old school place and everybody's like, whoa, nice shirt because it's like a dude playing an old arcade cabinet in space. And this time of year, they got a ton of new styles, but then also a whole bunch of clearance going on. I get this. Okay. You put in my code death threads, 10% off even clearance. Somebody sent me a screenshot. I think they got like 13 shirts for a hundred bucks or something. And uh, the ones that tend to be like leftover, okay, it's an old style, but it was popular and it ran its course. Everybody wanted to bought it. And now they just have certain... Um, edge sizes a lot of you guys are edge sizes let's put it that way um my large and in charge brothers out there can get some great deals i'm just saying or you could be some like lanky ass 14 year old and just looking gangster into 3xl i'm just saying you do you bro you, you will get some comments on that i mean they got hats they got boxers they got pants they got everything man you gotta check that out so uh it supports the channel it supports the work i'm doing to inform people that the game has been cheating you from the get-go i hope you like my take on this because i think this is the most extensive breakdown of the history of all the stuff they've been caught in that wasn't already covered in my other videos and like i said if you want to go check those out link in the description otherwise go do some shopping upgrade your wardrobe for the summer and i'll see you guys next time